T minus 16 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. For T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have to go from ready to start. 2, 1, clear. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Houston, Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Endeavour copies, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up, now one minute, ten seconds in the flight. Endeavour flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed 4.5 million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Endeavor performance is as expected thus far. Two minutes, 19 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 3,700 miles per hour, 35 miles in altitude, and 49 miles downrange. The propulsion officer confirms that the orbital maneuvering system engines are firing, providing Endeavour with its extra boost to orbit. Endeavour, two engines, Zaragoza. Engine Zaragoza. Now three minutes and four seconds into the flight, that call indicating an Endeavour could reach Zaragoza in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to operate well. Endeavour's computers showing it flying at 4,600 miles per hour, 50 miles in altitude, and 98 miles downrange. Endeavour, negative return. Copy, negative return. Four minutes and three seconds into the flight, Endeavour is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the shuttle landing facility in the event of an engine failure. Endeavour is flying at 6,000 miles per hour, 63 miles in altitude, and 180 miles downrange.
Endeavor continu continuing on track. Endeavor, you are pressed to ATO. Copy, pressed to ATO. Five minutes and 18 seconds in the flight. That call indicating Endeavor can now reach a lower than planned but a safe orbit on two engines should one fail, but all three engines are still performing well, as are the auxiliary power units and fuel cells. Endeavor, single engine, ops three. Endeavor copies, single engine, ops three. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavor could conduct a transatlantic abort landing on one engine should two fail at this point. Endeavor, single engine, Zaragoza. Copy, single engine, Zaragoza. Endeavor could reach Zaragoza on one engine should two fail at this point. Endeavor, you are pressed to Miko. Copy, pressed to Miko. Six minute, tw 22 seconds into the flight. Endeavor can reach the planned orbit on two engines. All three engines continue to operate well. Endeavor Houston, your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch maneuver. Nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Endeavor flying at 12,000 miles per hour now. Endeavor single engine press. Copy, single engine press. Seven minutes, eight seconds into the flight. Endeavor can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three still performing well. Endeavor is now at an altitude of 64 statute miles, 606 miles downrange. The three main engines are now throttling down to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it passes or approaches loads near three times gravity. Seven minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Are so good. The Space Shuttle Endeavor successfully launching from Kennedy Space Center. We have about a minute, gentlemen. Phil, describe what it was like from your vantage point. Absolutely spectacular. And as my photographer Phil Sully pointed out, it was historic. This was the last night launch of a NASA U.S. Space Shuttle, and it was just absolutely stunning. The entire dark night here at the Cape Kennedy Space Center just lit up like it was daylight. And, of course, the smoke plume was enormous. And the flame that leaves from behind all of the engines is about five or six times longer in length than the entire shuttle stack. So that really doesn't transpire on all yep. of the close-ups that you see on television. So it's just an absolutely spectacular sight. And there was a lot of applause here. I could hear from everybody. And there goes the shuttle detaching from the fuel tank. And Tom Rick. Jones, former astronaut and Fox News contributor. Gentlemen, thank you both so much. We appreciate you staying up and watching this with us. And thank you for joining us during our special coverage here. I'm Rick Fulbaum in New York. We now return to Hen